Hi, I'm Marie Jones, owner of Listen Kiss and also a unique presenter. And you are watching a three part series called Creating Your Natural Glow Using Unique's Concealer Pigments. I am going to be showing you in this tutorial how to use those concealers as eye colors. As you can see in my eyes, it looks very natural, but I have three concealer shades on. And so uh, if you have any questions, please let me know, but enjoy. Going on to eyes. Now we're going to have that natural look on our eyes. I'm using again the Mary Kay Eye Primer just because I'm absolutely in love with it. I have found, and I don't know if this is just me personally, but I have found that um, if I apply the primer very close to my lash line and then try to apply the um, Moonstruck Mineral Precision Pencils, which we won't do in this tutorial because it's very natural. Um, it seems to be harder to put it on. So when I'm putting my uh, primer on, I'm actually putting it on from mid uh, lid, well as, well, as close to the eyelash line without touching it um, all the way up. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is whenever I use um, uh, colors on my lid, I start off with the shader brush liner, okay? And we're going to take our frivolous, whatever color that you have for your, um, your foundation, um, that's what the color you want to use on your lid to make it natural, okay? So if you happen to use a lighter color, then you'll want to use it on your lid. Okay. And again, I'm taking this fallout that was here and I'm just tapping it and getting that full. And see, it's very, very little that I will be actually using. And I'm going to apply that to my lid. And that's on my lid. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. Just so I'm even. Now I'm going to take my crease brush and I'm going to tap the excess that's here, my crease brush, and I'm going to use that right on my crease. And this will give me a lift. And see how that just naturally lifts my eye up, it makes it appear more open. And then I'm going to take my deluxe brush and I don't know if you can see, you can't really see that, but here is the excess of the fresh and I'm going to put that on my brow bone. And I'm also going to put it in the inside bridge where my eye and my nose, the nose, the bridge of my nose meets. Okay. And then all I'm doing is taking the color off and I always use, I don't know if you can see that. I always use my, um, this part of my hand as a palette and I'm just taking the color off. And I'm going to go ahead and blend it. And I'm blending that fierce up to the fresh. And 
I also want to take some of that um, fierce and also apply it down on my lower lash line. Right. And that just gives me like this natural looking face. So you can see color, no color. Right, and then I'll go ahead and do the other side. The nice thing about the Fierce is that not only are, can you use it as a contour but and an eyeshadow, but you can also use it um, to fill in your brow if you like, which I thought was pretty darn awesome. Okay, and then this, I'm going to do some fresh. That's a fresh. Right. Clean that up. Okay. And then we're going to take some more um, fierce and put it that lower lash line again right and there you go there's your natural look for your eyes all you need to do is uh, apply some 3d lashes um, and my blush which will be next